What's up YouTube, back with another video. Hey, today I wanna to talk a little bit about um, cycling gloves, bike gloves, mountain bike gloves, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I'm not really too keen, especially when I first got into this sport about certain types of uh, gloves to wear, but I've been kind of going with some ones that um, I bought off Amazon that I just think are very, very comfortable. And then here in Florida, it gets so hot in the summertime, I like to have um, my fingers out <laughs> on the gloves just to keep um, a little bit of uh, coolness to my hands when I'm riding. So I've been going with these. These are the Evolution Gel um, protection gloves um, that actually have the gel what they call sensory gel on the inside of the glove which helps with the grip but it's also padded as well um, the good thing about these gloves one as I said uh, you know they do have um, the openings uh, for the fingers um, but the times that I fell with these gloves uh, it's actually protecting my hand and you can actually see the wear of the times that I've fallen on these gloves um, the padding has protected my hands a lot um, these were only I think 12 or 13 dollars um, they have in multiple colors I'll put the link to the description on Amazon down below they've held up pretty well the blue ones I've had even longer than the red ones they're um, just as durable um, with these I got a size large uh, just because they fit a little tight but they're not too bad, you know, once I put the Velcro on and strap them on. And it also has the little latches to pull them off pretty easily because when I sweat, they do get sticky a little bit, but they come off pretty easy with the pull tabs. Um, but these are very comfortable. They grip the handlebars, I mean, grip the uh, grips well. And um, hey, they're, they're good for a fall or two. Now, if you're going to continuously fall on them, it will wear this gel padding off and it will do some damage to the actual inner glove. But... For the few times that I've fallen, they've held up pretty well. So these are my go-tos. These are the ones that I've been riding since day one. Very, very comfortable. I haven't seen a lot of gloves with the gel and the padding on the inside of the gloves. So that's why I really like these. Um, so I highly recommend those. Now, um, I've upgraded a little bit with my, with my hand wear. And so now I've kind of gotten into some gloves that are um, have full coverage for all fingers and have a little bit of design and, and flair to them. So um, I'm going to review um, the Fist Gloves. And this is by Fist Handwear. Um, really, really cool designs. They got multiple ones on there. This is one of my favorites right here with the Flamingo. Of course, I've got to represent Florida uh, since I'm down here. So hey, I like them. If, you know, I know a lot of people may think the colorway may be a little crazier too two out there but uh i like colors so to me this is this is right up my alley so um on this size i had to go with the medium these are hard to find they are sold out on a lot of websites but um luckily i found these uh overseas uh at a company on ebay who um had them in a medium size and so uh they feel really great to be honest with you um the velcro fits really good a large would have done. I've tried other styles in this glove um, with a size large and they're a little bit too big so the medium fits me kind of perfect. Um, it does have the sensory finger and thumb tips where you can use your phone if you need access to your phone. And um, the Fist logo actually is rubberized right here so it's 3D and it stands out. Um, doesn't have any padding here. Does, the fist does have the little kind of like gel texture grip on it. Um, it does have holes in the fingers where it's ventilated. Uh, I could see these getting a little hot during the summer, but at the same time, they're not really heavy. They're very light. And so um, they are breathable and they're very comfortable. Um, and I've actually put these on and tried to uh, grip the uh, grips on the bike and they grip very well as well. Uh, so I'm going to probably be buying more of these just because of the cool colorways. I mean, you'll see all kinds of designs from cats, dogs, different types of fruit, ice cream, to wizards, to snakes, to all kinds of uh, crazy designs the Fist brand has. Um, but these were my, my favorite. Now, these are kind of expensive. These run about $30 um, each. 
Uh, I got them on sale for like maybe 25 or so, but um, these are going to be a little bit more expensive than the other one. So um, that's one one particular version. And then the other particular version I got is with the green. I just like the green um, inner uh, logo and the actual green on the outside. It's the avocados. And so um, each one of these designs is for a particular... Uh, Hmm, I don't know if they're BMX bikers or what type of cyclists they are, but they all have names that design these logos or wear these particular gloves. Like this one says Logan Martin. Excuse my lack of knowledge for not knowing who he is. I didn't really do that research. Maybe I should have beforehand, but hey, I didn't. So it is what it is. But I still think it's the, a sick design on there, man. And this looks really cool. Still hell needs. It has the same finger and thumb. Um, uh... What do you call it? Just just forgot. Um, the texture on there to be able to use your phone. And uh, again, it still has that rubberized grip area. It's not padded though, so it doesn't have the, have the pads like the first ones I just showed you, but it still has grip on it as well. So these are pretty cool. And again, I got a size medium for my hand. These retail for 30, and this is a size medium as well. And so, yeah, just really cool designs, man. I like the Fist brand. I'm gonna probably be buying more of these designs um, as well. And then one of the other ones I wanted to show you real quick is by um, Troy Lee Designs. And this is just the uh, polka dot. Now when I ordered them, it said orange uh, and navy blue, but it's not really an orange. It's more like a, a hot punch. Like Nike makes this color and it's called hot punch and that's really what this is. So it's not really an orange, even though that's what it says. Now these, um, I went with the large. So these fit a little bit different than the fist. The fist these fit the same as the fist, but I had to go up a size. So with the Troy Lee designs, I recommend going up to a large if you have skinny fingers like me. Um, and then the fist, I recommend a medium because they're larges. I had extra room in the fingertips and I didn't want that. So uh, the Troy Lees have the same type of texture there to be able to use your phone. Um, it has the same grip here as well to be able to grip the handlebars. But again, these are not padded and it also has the holes for ventilation as well. And just another kind of cool design. I'm starting to kind of like the the, the outlandish and crazy looking uh, gloves um, on these uh, on these, on these particular handwares. So just want to show you that, give a quick review of what I think about them and the sizing. Um, my hand, I mean, it's I'm six feet tall. I have pretty long fingers, but I have skinny fingers as well. So if you have skinny fingers, I definitely recommend going with the mediums with the fists and a large with the Troy Lee designs. And as I get more different types of gloves, you know, I'll do reviews on those as well. But for these, I'll put the items in the description below um, on where I got them. Uh, the Troy Lee designs were actually $30 as well, but I got these on sale for half off for 15 bucks. So, um, hey, you know, if you see a good deal, definitely uh, try to try to act upon it. So. Um, yeah, man, it's just some cool, different, different, um, different handwear to wear out there while you're on the trail. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So just wanted to do a quick review on those. And uh, hey, that's about it. I'll keep this short. I check you out in the next video. Peace.